So my name is Lucy Colwell. I'm a lecturer in chemistry at the University of Cambridge. My research really focuses on trying to use approaches grounded in mathematics and physics uh, to analyse data uh, that being collected in really large quantities in experiments across sort of biochemistry. I've always really enjoyed figuring things out and science just seems a great area in which lots of things need to be figured out. And a lot of it is just taking facts from different places and kind of combining different bits of information and trying to make sense of them. I just really enjoy that. So I was trained as a mathematician. My background is when in math and actually the last time I studied biology or chemistry was when I was 16, which was a really long time ago. Um, and I was just really interested, you know, I loved maths and doing mathematics. I really like getting away and getting into sort of the outdoors. I was really interested in trying to use that as a, as a way of learning about and understanding the real world around us. So I'm really fascinated by proteins. Um, proteins are, you know, these sort of large molecules. I mean, they're very small, but they're large compared to the molecules that most chemists study. And they're incredible because they're specified as linear chains of amino acids, so they're made as, as sequences, um, and yet that linear chain contains all the information necessary for the protein to fold up and assume the right shape, and also to carry out its function. And they're really exquisite sort of nano machines. They can make molecules, they can process molecules, they interact with each other in highly specific ways. Uh, they're, they're, they're really fascinating. All of that complexity is encoded in this, this simple amino acid sequence that, that comes directly from the, the DNA. I'm really obsessed at the moment. We're trying to understand how to design or, or discover new protein sequences. Um, and by new sequences, I mean both those that are sort of new versions of existing sequences. Um, so they have the same function as an existing sequence, but, but that sequence has never been seen before, but also totally new proteins. So I rely really heavily at the moment on technological breakthroughs that have made it possible to read and write DNA in high throughput. Um, and, and, and the writing part is the part that has really exploded, I would say, in the last five years. So it's now possible to synthesize huge libraries of sort of specifically designed DNA sequences and then express those to make libraries of proteins. So essentially, I'm interested in trying to understand how we can use the variation in these sequences and think about that as, as sort of data that we're observing drawn from a distribution. And then the idea is to use that data to try and, and view it as an inverse problem. So we want to take the data and use the data to understand the model that the data was drawn from. So it's like if we sort of ha imagine having this, this large space of possible sequences and there are sort of different areas of that space that where sequences that correspond to different functions um, can be found. Uh, we want to try and sort of understand that space um, in, in a unified way.